All right, folks, thanks for checking out the video. I want to talk today about how the Associated Press and by extension, the mainstream media in the United States are lying to you about the extent of the illegal immigration crisis that we have in this country. Okay. And not to mention the extent to which the Biden administration is going to hide crimes that are committed by illegal aliens. So from the Associated Press here, right, which is one of the most widely distributed news wires uh, in the country and in the world, has a headline here that says, two men arrested in strangulation of 12-year-old Houston girl whose body was found in a creek, right? Two men, okay? Story goes on to say, two men who were seen on surveillance footage with a 12-year-old girl before her body was found in a Houston creek earlier this week were arrested Thursday in her death, police said. Johan Jose Rangel Martinez, 21, and Franklin Jose Peña Ramos, 26, each face a charge of capital murder in the killing of Jocelyn Nungaray, police said. The medical examiner has determined that her cause of death was strangulation. It was unclear if the two suspects had attorneys yet to speak on their behalf. Their names were not listed in jail or court records as of Thursday afternoon. Jocelyn's body was found in the shallow water of a creek early Monday morning. Police have said that she sneaked out of her nearby home the night before. Police said that surveillance footage showed the two men meeting up with Jocelyn before walking into a convenience store with her. The three then walked to the bridge together where Jocelyn was killed, police said. It was not known yet if Jocelyn knew the men who were roommates, police said. Police said the results of a sexual assault exam on the victim are pending. Police on Tuesday had released photos of the surveillance footage of the two men who were called persons of interest at that time. Okay, now all of that is bad enough, okay? But when we look over here at the New York Post, we find out, oh, gee, illegal Venezuelan migrant cut his ankle monitor after allegedly killing 12-year-old Jocelyn Nungaray. Now, the AP didn't mention anything about them being illegal, didn't mention anything about them cutting off an ankle monitor. They have this information, but they clearly don't want you or I to have it, okay? Now, this article from the New York Post says that uh, these two men were both released into the U.S. with GPS monitoring after illegally crossing the southern border into El Paso, Texas this year. So they just came into the country this year, and within a few months, they've already killed a little girl. Okay? And this sort of thing is, is happening all over the country here. You can... You can see one of the one of the guys here. Um, I mean, it's just it's just unconscionable. It's just unconscionable, you know. And and some people wonder, well, why why is Donald Trump leading in the polls? I mean, this sort of thing is is just completely avoidable. It's it's completely avoidable. The the acceptable amount of crime by by illegal aliens should be zero. And and, and we're seeing lives that, that that are being disrupted all over this country by having people's loved ones killed and, and maimed and mutilated by illegal aliens. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable, folks. And this sort of thing needs to be pointed out. You're not going to hear about this on, on your local news. I mean, maybe unless you live in Houston. But if you get the AP reports, you would just think, oh, these are, these are two guys from Houston that, that did this. Well, no. These are two guys that weren't even in the country even as, as early as last year. So keep that in mind when you see these kind of reports, whether in, in your local paper, your local news station, or you're hearing it on your local radio station. So anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.